All right, so I got my new Whirlpool microwave hood um, combination delivered today, this morning. Um, I had to pick it up from Lowe's. It didn't get delivered to my house. I had to actually pick this up this morning from Lowe's. Um, so it would have been nice because it does weigh um, a decent amount of weight, but it was okay. I was able to get it in my van. That's where it is right there. That's what it looks like. Okay. It's all the sides of the boxes. All right. So we're going to open this up. We're going to see what we get inside. This is my first time opening up one. So we'll get an idea together of what this thing has. So let me move this thing over. Let's see. Let's move this thing over. Cut it open. Okay. How does it look over here? Good? Fine? Alright, so we're going to take this open. I should probably lift it and put it over here in the show. So this is what it comes with inside so far. You could see the inside grate uh, is right here at the top. Um, the plug is also here and some screws and whatever else, I guess, mounting hardware is here as well. So that's there. Let's take out some of this. Oh, here's the glass plate as well that goes in there. Um, first we got to pull out this cardboard and then we can get to it. Let's pull out that cardboard just like that. Oh, here is the, um, exhaust damper right here. This is the exhaust damper that comes with it. It feels okay. Uh, it's very flimsy, obviously. I mean, what, what do you expect? It just goes on top of the microwave. Um... I don't know what kind of gauge, but that is very thin gauge, uh, steel, um, probably galvanized, I guess. And that's it. That's what it looks like. That's the damper. It opens and I'm installing that right here. So hopefully that works out because I'm going to install that right there. And that's where the exhaust goes down. And this is where the microwave is going to be installed right there. Those are my wires and that's what I'm going to run. So let's see what else comes in this box. We have the glass plate, like I said. Uh, here we go. Now it comes out. Just got to lift it from one corner. Okay, and there it is. We got that in there. Okay, let's lay that over there. Okay, let's pull this out. Now we got to pull this entire thing out. Let's pull it out. Pull it out gently, just in case you have to return it. I don't like to break everything when I have to return something. I kind of like to put it back together as um, best as possible when I'm going to return it if there's something wrong with it. So, so I guess this is the microwave right here. So, me and my partner are going to lift this out and then videotape it and see what's up. All right, because I can't lift this out, obviously, with my one hand. It won't work out that way. But I think this is the front of it, is what it seems like. This is the front of the microwave. Because I just pulled it, and it sounded like the door opened. So that's the front of it right now. So we're going to pull this out, and then we're going to do a little video. Show you what else is inside of it. Alright, let's pull it out. This is going to be fun. So you can get on that side, and we'll try to pull it out. Should I just cut the box, or should we just we'll try to lift it out? Ready? Yeah, because I got that stupid, um... What do we have for lift? I could probably lift it, but... Want to cut the box open? And then we'll just we'll cut this one side open right here. Let's cut this one side open. Make it easier. Okay. 
and now maybe we can grip it a little bit easier and get it out with that whole thing being open now. Or we could just flip it out and then grip it. All right. You want to flip it down yeah, first? Yeah, so we don't put it, we're going to okay. put it up on the door. So we flip it down first. Yeah. I don't know where to go. I don't have it in my hand. Well, on your hand? We can probably just, I wonder if we can grab it from this way. Think this will rip? Yeah. I don't want to rip. You don't think, you think it'll rip? Yeah. I don't want to rip. All right. Where do you want to put it on to? Um, I'm just going to put it right onto this floor right here. Okay. That's all. We're just going to pull it out. So this is the front of it. So it needs, this is the bottom. This is the front, so we need to flip it this way. So, ready? Yeah, I know. Uh, you got it? Mm -hmm. Walk slowly. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's going on. Okay. Now let's put it down like this. Bottom bracket. Okay. Should we flip it on its yeah, bottom? Right. And then I can. Okay. All right, ready? Flip it on its bottom now. Ready. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. You can just do that. Back. Um, anyway, it's pretty good. Yeah, I know. I don't want to switch. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so that's what you're going to get in the box right there. That's it right there. Um, here's what it looks like up front. Let's look in the box. There's the bracket that we're going to need to install right here. Uh, that's in the back of it right there. I don't see the template. Maybe it's inside the microwave. There's supposed to be a template usually. Um, maybe that's inside the microwave. We're going to open that up in one second. So that's everything in the box. Here is the power cord coming out of the top. So it's a 15 amp power cord. So you can plug it into any regular standard outlet and it'll work. Because it doesn't have the curved one. So you're pretty much good with that. Here's the front of it. This is my new Whirlpool that I bought. And for obvious reasons, I chose this one as my um, product that I wanted to choose um, because of the features that I had. I liked it. Uh, let's see if we can open it. Here we go. Opens up. Now you can see the inside. This is everything in here. Remove this paper before using. Um, here's everything on the inside right here. Oh, here's the instructions. What's this? Warrant, yeah, it looks like warranty. So that's warranty work. Um, let's see what else is in here. Let's pull this out. Softly, okay. Are we good? Can we see it like that? Okay. Can we open this up? So we got the, I don't know, whatever that is. Looks like maybe the steamer tray for the vegetables. Here is the um, wheels to when you're going to put it on uh, rotate. And it's going to rotate your dish. So that came in there as well. Here is all the templates that I was talking about that we need to put into the cabinet in order to drill and all this other stuff. We'll see that in later videos. And then here are the grease traps or the grease filters. So you'll be cleaning these. You know, uh, it's always nice to order extras of these if you have them. If you decide to have this microwave for 10 plus years, I would order extras of the extra of these and just have, you know, probably an extra set is good enough. So these are them right here. They give you two. Um, I think it takes two. So you're better off having two extra just in case they overrip and you want to clean them. 
um, my my unit is going to exhaust to the outside, so I expect these, if I'm cooking a lot, to get a lot of grease. So I'm gonna probably wanna order extra of these, just so you know. So that's what they look like. So here is the, um, I think this is for pizza, I'm not sure um, exactly. You're gonna have to look this up. I'm, see, it seems like that. I think it's like a pizza tray or something like that. So you to cook pizza, so that's in there too. And then this is the steamer plate for the vegetables, is what, I, what I'm told. Um, so you'll be able to steam vegetables in this. And it comes in a little pack. So you'll be able to steam your vegetables. So I don't know how it works exactly because I didn't read the instructions, yeah, but... All right, so maybe it goes like that. Um, so we'll see how this works. I'll show you in future videos how that works. And that's it. That came in here. That's an idea of the inside right here. So now you can see the inside of it. Upside. And the buttons on the front and everything. Uh, I chose this one with the buttons on the front because it had a lot more reviews than the newest one that was fully touchscreen. Uh, I heard there was a lot of lag. I heard there, I, I just heard some reviews that I didn't really like to hear about it right now in the year 2019. Um, maybe a couple of years from now, they're gonna update the um, panel on the middle side and they're gonna make it without lag and it's going to be able to work properly and be touchscreen and you could tell it what to do fully integrated voice control um but i didn't see that right now so i went with this one so it already has the buttons on it just in case i can always type in the buttons this one had f five six maybe even seven times the reviews of the newest one um that was touchscreen so like i said this one doesn't seem like it's touchscreen which is fine but i because i rather have you know quality uh over you know smart i guess you could say and um that's kind of what i chose that's it so that's my whirlpool that's what i wanted i'm gonna install it right here on this wall i did the cutout already as you could see i'm gonna put a piece of wood here from beam to beam uh, here's the wood that I got. I wrote down the breaker number. It's breaker seven, so I know what breaker to turn off when I'm messing with this so I don't get electrocuted because no one wants to get electrocuted. And that's not something you want to do is get shocked or electrocuted. It pretty much burns uh, 120 volts. I've gotten shocked with 208 volts so far, and that burned. Felt like a nice good burn. Yeah, it, it burned a lot. I didn't get shocked with 460 volt yet, so I don't know what that feels like. <sighs> good luck to you if you did, because like I said, the 208 shocked me and it got me real good. And I didn't know what hit me after that. Uh, I, so yeah, just always be careful with electrical. It's, you know, it's not something to mess around with. You always want to play your safety card. Make sure this power is off when you're messing with it. Make sure the power is off when you're installing stuff. And always safety first. Because, um, you know, it's nothing to really joke about. So like I said, uh, I already made a thing. I put breaker 7 on here. And this is going to go right in this place right here. I already fitted it in. It fit in really nicely. As you can see, see? Bam, bam. It fits in perfectly. I made it like that. I did cut out the bottom too much, that's my fault, but I figure I'm going to have a little bit of an extension at the top, so I have 18 inches of space, I need 17 and a quarter of space, um, so I figure with that three quarter inch of space I'm going to be messing around with that, making sure that connects properly to this exhaust that's going to go right in here, so and there's the rest of the exhaust right there. That's what I'm going to be installing. So just give me some time and I'll be installing this microwave in the next coming um, 
you know, days pretty much. All right. Um, subscribe to more to my channel uh, if you want to see some more do it yourself kind of videos that I'm doing and stuff that you could do yourself at your home and inspire you to have your own ideas and, you know, install stuff yourself and take control of the situation. All right. So everybody have a good one and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.